is going on everybody my name is Connor but you guys can call me superior coming at you guys with episode 7 of the best best class setup series today we're going to be covering my favorite submachine gun in call of duty in any call of duty since modern warfare 3 and that is the mtar x now the mtar x is notorious for its awful iron sights at least i think they're awful but um, it's high damage, kind of compensates for that, so it doesn't really hold you back too much. So let's get into a little bit about the stats of the gun. It is has a pretty good damage. It is a three-shot kill at close range and a five-shot kill at long range. Now, um, seeing as people die so quickly in this game, close range is pretty good for a submachine gun, and long range is uh, pretty average. You know, five shots a kill definitely doesn't melt people at long range, but... Um, it definitely is better than something compared to like the CBJMS or the Vepper or some other submachine gun like that. So I think that's why it's such like, in my opinion, it's the most popular SMG to be used. Um, definitely in competitive just because of its decent rate of fire, high accuracy, high damage, and fast mobility as it will be with any submachine gun. So the class will be popping up on your screen right now. As you see, I have the grip and suppressor on it. But since this gun is already has extremely low recoil, you can definitely take off the grip and throw some sort of optic on it, whether it be the VMR sight or the red dot sight or the tracker sight or whatever you feel that you need to do in order to get rid of the horrid iron sight and kind of make it a little bit more usable. Uh, as far as the perks go, I have ready up just because you don't need quick draw on a submachine gun. At least I don't think I do. Maybe if you're using an optic, you may want to put on quick draw. But as far as just the iron sights go, you know, ready up because you're running around a lot, a lot with an SMG, and ready up helps you bring your gun up that much faster right after you're done sprinting. And then I have dead silence because I hate having getting sound horned by people, and um, it's really nice to kind of run around the map and kind of be like a silent ninja, regardless of what you're whether you're on like metal or dirt or whatever it may be and then i've amplified so i can sound hard people with my astro a40s and focus because it helps me win gunfights hardline because i want to get all those assist counts as kills and be able to get my chem strike sooner than at 25 kills and then this is a new perk that i've been running recently and that is ping if you don't know what ping does it's whenever you kill someone it kind of puts off like a little like radar in a certain like radius and then if anyone is in that area and doesn't have off the grid then they'll pop up on your radar and you'll be able to know right where they are and now this is extremely helpful um especially when you're playing solo and you're not really with a party to call people out and it's really your only way to know where people are if you don't have a if you can't hear them or you don't like have very good map knowledge ping definitely helps you out it's pretty much like your own little uav running around whenever you kill someone it pops up on the map now let's go into the strikes package of specialists i have scavenger sleight of hand pretty basic you guys see me running that a lot just because scavenger because you're going to need a scavenger up some ammo sleight of hand because it's always helpful to be able to reload faster and then the bonus. The bonus is kind of something that you guys are pretty much up, you know, it's up to you whether or not you can edit it or not. Uh, I have Stalker. Stalker on an SMG, you already ADS, and um, your ADS speed is pretty quick on an SMG. So Stalker isn't really necessary. So you can take that off and put on Quick Char, whatever three perk thing you want. Uh, then I have Blind Eye, just because I don't want to die from something stupid like a uh, Helo Pilot or something like that when I'm on a kill streak. Um, and then I have that one perk, I, the name's escaping me, but it's the thing where it takes all the sack comes around the map, uh, whether it be your teams or the enemies, and kind of turns them all on, so, um, you know, it's basically like, you're taking their sack comms and making them your own, so you have a UAV and no one else does. Uh, then I have resilience, because I do not want to fall on a big kill streak. how embarrassing would it be to fall off of, like, a building, like it was on Freight, if you were in the third story building, and you just fell off and you died, one off a chem strike, you know, how embarrassing would that be, so I decided to put on resilience, just because it's only one perk slot, I mean, I guess you could put off, off, or, um, gambler, but the thing I don't like about gambler, is it always gives me on the go, and if I get on the go, and I'm reloading, if I click the reload button, there's no way to stop the reload. You know, I can't sprint to cancel it. I can't. Why? Why? Because I don't have a secondary. The only way that I could cancel the reload is from knifing, and that's honestly faster to just finish the reload. So, um, you know, Gambler Fs me over more often than not. But definitely try out this class, guys. It is an absolute beast. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new. We are nearing 4 thousand subscribers which i never even expected to hit when i started this channel follow me on twitter if you haven't already and have a fantastic day everybody i am out